Alright, back again Luke here. And as you can see in front of you, this is that PlayStation that I got from Alec Roberts. And I figured we could take a look at it, and uh, if there's any repairs that need to be made, we'll do that. But first thing we need to do is test it, and that's the whole purpose here of this video. So here are the games too that he wound up sending with the system, so I figured we'll pop in a game and uh, check some of that. So I haven't turned this thing on at all, and there was one missing screw on the bottom, but just as it is, we'll just see how everything works and go from there. I don't know if this is disc, this is disc one. Okay, well, that's a bit grungy. If it doesn't work, uh, we'll know the disc is an issue. Ah, okay, I can already see a problem here. If you guys can't see already, the uh, spindle here, the clips that hold this in place, like the, uh, the balls that are in there, are missing. That whole clip setup is broken. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see if we can kind of temporarily rig this thing. I'll be back here in a little bit. We'll give this a shot in a few minutes. See you soon. Okay, back again. Found some uh, tape. And like I said, we're just going to try to rig this here and see if this can keep this in place while it spins. <laughs> I know this is really bad, but just to see if it works or not. I should have cleaned the disc too, but yeah, if it holds it in place. There we go. Well, we've got that. Should be. <laughs> All right. Let's see if this thing powers on. Well, powers on. You can kind of hear this thing uh, moving. Let's see what channel. Well, there's the uh, main screen. Wow, you can hear it kind of grinding, but I think it's playing. Can you hear that? It's like <laughs> It works. It works. It needs some tape, but it works. <laughs> uh, this is awesome. Dirty disc and uh, really, really rough sounding, but I think that I have a, another broken system somewhere um, with a spindle on it or something where I can kind of put a different spindle on here. I'm going to have to go back and see what kind of parts I've got, but we'll go ahead and uh, maybe try and see if I can find something to work for that spindle. Well, this all works here. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> Aside from that, that main spindle there being broken and some serious like grinding sounds you can probably hear. Well, I guess it's not going to make the sounds right now. I fired up first time though, so I'm going to see if I can find a way to make a makeshift uh, spindle for this and then we'll kind of go from there. I don't know what kind of parts I have laying around, but we'll see what we've got. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. See you soon. All right, so as you can see here, going through my parts bin, I came across this, which is an old mechanism from a Dreamcast, I believe, uh, from many, many years ago. But I'm kind of guessing or hoping maybe I can swap out the top of this one that actually still does work and put it on this one. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. The, s the size of the hole in the middle here might actually be off compared to this one, but maybe if I use a bit of precision here, I might be able to drill that out exactly the same diameter here so it doesn't wobble and hopefully get it the same height so that it'll still read the disc. And uh, yeah go from there. So that's our next challenge here. I know it would be easier, much easier just to buy a whole new mechanism from the, uh, you know, the internet, but we'll just see what we can do with uh, recycled parts here and go from there. So as you can see, the top part here is kind of fallen off. So it came off with the tape <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see what I can do about getting this one on and this one off. So I'll see you guys here in a little bit. All right, so as you can see here, this is the pulley off of the old unit. Uh, trying to get this one off, it just fractured in many different pieces, so that just broke off there. But uh, here's our other one, and 
it may be kind of promising. I don't know. We'll have to try to put this guide back together, and uh, obviously we're going to have to seal this on there, uh, align it up so that we can get this thing to play right. But uh, we'll mess around with it and see what we can do, but hopefully that will fix our problem. It won't be an easy thing to get this thing undone anymore because this actually had a couple of spaces on it to where you can turn it, and when you turned it, you could get to the screws uh, easily on the bottom there, but uh, aside from drilling holes in this plate here, that's not going to be very possible, but that's not a big deal. What we'll do is we'll try and see if we can get this thing uh, to fit on there, and hopefully uh, if things go well, we might be able to fix this guy with these parts. As far as the diameter goes, it looks like it's perfect fit, so fantastic there. So we'll get on that. I'll see about situating this in there and uh, be back in a little bit. You guys can probably also see the uh, bit of rust that's going on on the inside here. We'll have to strip this thing down and do a thorough cleaning on it nonetheless, but see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so the new head that I put on there, the new spindle, it fit on just like a glove. So we're just going to try this out. I haven't put any games in on it. I haven't cleaned it up. I just kind of pushed this on the, the spindle there and uh, we'll see if it does anything. This would be kind of cool if it worked first shot. I do have the cover off actually now that I think about it. This is going to be kind of tricky because I need to be able to have the button for the door. Hmm. Let me see. What can I do? What can I use? <laughs> Looking around for some stuff. Maybe I can use this screwdriver here. That should be enough to close it. Well, let's give it a go. It's spinning. It's good. Let's see what we get. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. Is it working? Still working? Oh, it's still spinning. Oh, <laughs> it's alive! <laughs> it's working. This is fantastic. You can hear the lens just kind of going a bit crazy there. That might be partially because this thing is really, really dirty. I'm not sure. Well, might be a little too soon here. I can hear it trying to read it, but uh, it's going crazy left and right. That might be the, the disc being dirty, I'm not sure. So, I guess what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and turn it off for right now. <laughs> it was kind of working. But uh, we'll turn it off here. We'll go back and see what, uh, what we can do. Maybe clean the disc off a little bit and then give it another shot and see if it works. But I'll see you guys here in a little bit. Showing promise. Okay, so I kind of cleaned up the laser mechanism a little bit and the lens uh, with some rubbing alcohol and figured we could try this with the top back on it. Also tried to clean this up a little bit, but it still looks pretty rough. Um, yeah, we'll give this a shot here. I think the lid being on it might help a lot more than uh, me pressing down on it, but let's see what it does. See if it'll get past that screen. There was some sand in the gears of the laser as well. Seems like it's starting up a little bit faster this time. But it kind of did this the second, the last time as well. Okay, well it came up to here last time. I have to see if it'll do anything else. Because this is where it kind of locked up. Oh, there we go, guys. <laughs> it is truly alive. This thing is working. No memory card. Uh, no controller either. Jeez, okay. Well, let's see. Let's plug this guy in. Let's see if we can do this without making this thing skip. All right, let's see. The old play button. I think we're in business. I think we've got this guy working. Well, did I speak too soon? Oh, no, maybe it's working. This is awesome. 
Fantastic, I'm glad I kept those parts around. Jeez, such a cheap part. I used everything else from that set except for the motor and that wheel. Who would have thought that uh, it would come down to just using that uh, top spindle? This is awesome. You know what the next step is though? We're gonna have to clean this uh, top up, scrub this guy down. Maybe hard to see through the camera, but uh, it has seen better days. It's a bit dusty and crusty. But we'll get this guy polished up and working well. I think with the uh, cleaning of the disc here and cleaning of the lens, this thing was able to come together. So another working machine here. Only leaves uh, a couple of things left to repair from that whole stack. And that'll be it. But as you can see here, this thing is working without a flaw. Beautiful, beautiful. So, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, get this thing stripped. Well, skip it a little bit. That could also be the disc. I don't know. Yeah, it could be the disc. I'm not sure. We might have to try another disc and see what happens. Now, well, it's skipping. <laughs> it's skipping. I don't know if it'll work itself out or not. Might have to play around with this a little bit more. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's getting pretty rough. Well, we'll uh, we'll mess around with it. Maybe we can try another game and see if it does the same or not. This guy's skipping, insanely skipping. Oh, there it goes. It kind of worked itself out. Well, a little bit. It's got to be the disc. I'm guessing. I don't know. We'll give this thing a thorough uh, adjustment and see what happens with it. But uh, yeah, the thing is skipping quite a bit. Let's let's do this. Let's take this one out. I don't know if we've got. Let's see the space shooter. I don't know how much better this one is. Uh, it looks a little bit better. So let's try that. Let's do that. Stop this guy here. Take this off. Let's see if this thing will play any smoother or not, <clears throat> or if it'll play. Yeah, if it's skipping because of the disc, that's one thing, but if it's skipping because of the laser, that's another thing. So it actually might be the laser. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Okay, well, they give us something else to uh, work on here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's reading, so. We'll go ahead and uh, mess around with this a little bit more, see what we can figure out, but uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Well, after a bit of uh, adjustments here and cleaning, <clears throat> I was able to uh, get this one to start up, which is interesting. It's all in uh, Japanese with English subtitles. Ah, interesting. But this disc uh, was in a lot better condition than the other one, so I'm guessing it's because of this disc being all scratched up, which is causing it to skip. This one seems to be playing pretty smoothly. <laughs> I 
I think uh, we may be okay here for right now. Let's see. Let's see if we can start this up. Seems to be loading quite well now. Might have just been the disc. Oh, this one's kind of. This is kind of awesome looking. Nice. We might be okay. We'll go ahead and uh, give this some more thorough testing before we call it a day. A day before uh, putting this thing back together and whatnot, but. Uh, yeah, seems to be doing a lot better now than it was before with the other game. It's actually reading this one too. So, nice. Well guys, I'm going to go ahead and strip this thing down and uh, see about cleaning it up. And then we'll go back and see if it still works alright in the end. But, we'll be back in a little bit. So far so good. <laughs> Woo! All right, so as you can see here, we've got everything kind of stripped down. We're going to go ahead and try and polish up some of these rust spots, and get rid of that so it doesn't spread anymore, and uh, we'll polish up the casing here. Take a look at the controller ports. This one was also one that was in the barn. You can tell by all the, uh, the rust and corrosion that's on this thing, but nonetheless, we'll go ahead and uh, try and clean it up a little bit better and go from there so I'll see you guys here in a little bit all right as we're stripping stuff down I figured we would take the controller apart but uh, as I looked at the controller there's only two screws holding this together and both of them are stripped out so we have to see if we can uh, get these out of here uh, kind of gonna take a little bit of time but uh, this thing's only held together by two we'll get this thing polished up as well and uh, get everything all set but uh, that's the next thing we'll be working on here I'll be back in a little bit all right, so I managed to get the uh, the screws out there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. That took some work, but uh, got them both out. You can see this thing is a uh, nice crusty mess on the inside there. Pretty nasty over here too. Wee, good times, fun times to be had. But uh, I'll go ahead and get this guy all cleaned up, and then we'll put it back together. <laughs> I'll see you guys here in a little bit. All right, so as you can see here, we've got the system all put back together. Here's the old controller looking pretty decent, as well as the rest of the system looking pretty nice. Uh, things came together quite well. If you take a look at the inside, you can see the spindle here, and uh, that's all kind of ready to go. I put a little bit of uh, glue on the top there to keep it in place, but I figured we could go ahead and try that game one more time and see how it goes. Uh, that game is the Heart of Darkness, and I haven't done really anything with it you can still see it's scratched to bits here but uh, what we'll do is we'll pop this guy in here and uh, check some of that see if it uh, if it'll read it a little bit better obviously this disc is going to need to be resurfaced but that's in there hit the old power take a look at our screen here And this thing was glitching a little bit at the title screen, so I guess we'll have to wait and see how far it goes or if everything goes okay. This part here where there was no problems, if you remember beforehand, it was when it started getting into the video area that uh, it started glitching up quite a bit. But go ahead here, please wait while loading. This thing's actually quite quiet. You can hardly tell this thing is uh, is on here. No memory card. the old play button and this is where we'll have to wait and see what uh, what happens but hopefully if all goes well this thing will uh, play some video quite smoothly compared to last time looking so far so good we can kill the lights here we'll have to wait through it a little bit just to make sure but uh, I think it was around the parts where it was in space, um, circling around the different planets, it was skipping, 
And then uh, when the boy was in school, I think it was skipping quite hard, so we'll have to wait and see what happens there. You can see. But so far looking pretty decent. So far so good. Can't remember if it was around this part when it was skipping or maybe not. Maybe that was still okay. I think it was around this area where it started to glitch out last time. It seems to be going pretty smoothly though. Pretty twisted, but it looks to be going pretty well. <clears throat> no way, Jose! There's an eclipse of the sun today! There'll be a test about it tomorrow! I'm warning you! Looking pretty good so far. I think we may be alright. Especially around this part here was glitching pretty badly, I remember. Well, there we have it. Well, guys. I think uh, we've got ourselves another successful repair here, another system saved from the grave, and that is the good old Sony PlayStation. But that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching. Watching some more gaming brought back from the dead. <laughs> Good PlayStation. <laughs> See you guys here soon with some more repairs.